In today's video, I'm gonna be covering how I'm setting up a private community for my business, which I run on Squarespace. So in Squarespace, I'm gonna be creating this new subscription product where when people purchase, they'll automatically get access to all of the courses I sell, all of my workshops, in addition to this new private community. So in order to create this private community, I'm gonna be using a platform called Circle, which is an online platform for creating online communities. So when someone purchases this subscription product in Squarespace, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be inviting them to my Circle community. I'm gonna embed Circle on my website so it really feels like the community is truly part of my website and not some third party thing. And then also how I'm gonna be removing members from Circle when they cancel their subscription on Squarespace. So if you are a Squarespace user who's looking to create an online community for your business, stick around because you're in the right place. So when I was researching platforms to create my online community, I of course considered all of the free options as well like Facebook groups, Slack, and Discord. For Discord and Slack, I sort of ruled those out pretty early because I wanted a platform that was meant for communities. I didn't want my users to have to learn how to use something in order to just engage with the community. I wanted it to be really easy to use, uh, you know, just very straightforward. So the reason I didn't go with Facebook groups is because Facebook does come with like a lot of distractions. So Facebook groups is awesome in its features, but it's part of this sort of larger sphere of distraction. And also there's a little bit of barrier to entry in that if someone doesn't have a Facebook account, they're probably not gonna create one just to join your Facebook group. So those were some of the things that I was considering when choosing platforms. And you know, I wanted something that was very professional and clean and easy to use and felt like my brand. And so I discovered Circle and it just seemed to be a really good fit. So I wanna take you through how I'm setting up my community inside of Circle. So I'm here in my community and the way that Circle organizes itself is into space groups and spaces. So an example of a space group is this welcome dropdown here and then these individual pages in the dropdown are spaces. So I did a lot of research on how best to structure a community and I found that everyone had a welcome space group and generally had these three spaces in that space group. So the first page is a start here page and this is info for new users. So I've included a getting started video which shows people how to navigate inside the course. I've recorded it using Loom and I've just easily embedded that into this post. Next, I have some community guidelines uh, that people should follow in the community. And then I give them a next action step that they should head over to the introduce yourself space where they can introduce themselves. And I've also asked them to do a little bit of goal setting to list out the outcomes that they wanna achieve as a member of this group. And then finally, we have this announcements space in this welcome group. And this is where I'm gonna be posting community related announcements. And also if Squarespace makes any updates, that I want people to know about, I'm going to be posting them in this announcements tab. And if you click on a space name and go to options, you can trigger different post notifications for that space. So I wanna send everyone an email when I create a new post in the announcement space because any announcement that I make in this area is important and I wanna make sure that people receive that information. So the other thing that I wanna mention is you can set up different home pages based on whether the user is a new member of the community or whether they're a returning user. So I've set it up so that the start here page is the first page that someone will land on if they're a new user, so directly after sign up. But as soon as they are, they return to the group, if they're a returning user, they're going to land on the home page, which is just sort of the main feed of everything that's going on in the group. So it's really nice that we can customize the user flow depending on whether someone is a new user or a returning user. Beyond that initial welcome space group, how you structure the community is really just dependent on the content in your group. So I've created a community tab where people can ask general questions about Squarespace or about web design. They can post their websites to get design feedback. And then I've also created a courses space group with spaces for my individual courses where people can ask course specific questions. So really how granular you get is just completely up to you, but you can customize this however you want, structuring things into space groups and spaces. 
Some features that I think are worth pointing out is the ability to save items for later. So if I bookmark this post, I can head to my bookmarks tab and you can see this post is now saved. But it's not just posts, there's a bunch of different media types that you can bookmark. Now, if you forget to bookmark something and you need to find it, you can head to the search tab and search for it. And you can also search for a bunch of different types of media, not just posts. You can search for comments, lessons, events, and members. One feature that I'm really excited about is the weekly digest email. So if we click on our community name and then go to settings, we can go to weekly digest and enable the weekly digest email. So this goes out every Thursday and it just contains the highlights of the activity that's happened in the group. So it's a great way to re-engage people that might have not joined the group in a while and just shows them what's going on and hopefully we'll pull them back into the group if they see something that interests them. Earlier we talked about space groups and spaces in terms of organizing your course, but there's also some additional navigation that is definitely worth mentioning. So I mentioned it before, but the home panel is your main feed of all the different activity that's going on inside of the community. There's also a members tab where people can find other members. There's an events tab. So I'm gonna be using this to post upcoming events for live streams and Q and A's that I'm gonna be doing. And if you're on the pro plan or higher, there's a really cool feature where you can natively do live streams. So I'm on the basic plan, so I'm not able to do native live streams from within Circle. So I'm going to be just posting my Zoom link where people can join that way. Uh, but if you're on a pro plan, that's a really cool feature that can go hand in hand with events. And then next there's courses. So I'm selling my courses through Squarespace, so I'm not going to be using this feature. But if you're on the pro plan or higher and you want to host courses within your community, it is a pretty cool feature. And then there's also an area where you can add any relevant links that you wanna add. So I've added one to my YouTube channel and I've kept the links where people can download the Android app or the iOS app. And that leads us into the next feature, which is that there is a mobile app. So it's nice as a manager, I can answer questions directly from my phone. And as a user, you don't have to be at your desktop to engage in the community. You can do it right from your phone. So one thing that I think is important to mention that's kind of a bummer is that Zapier is only available for integrations if you're on the pro plan or higher. So it's not available to me because I'm only on the basic plan, but I'm just going to be doing some things manually and I have some workarounds that I'm going to be covering in the next section of this video. So now that we've looked at some of the features, I want to go through how I'm managing my members between Squarespace and Circle. I quickly want to take you through my setup on Squarespace for how I'm selling things. So I offer courses and workshops, and I've set each one up using the new courses collection feature in Squarespace. So each one of these is its own course, and I've set up two different pricing plans. So there's an individual pricing plan, and then there's also this new pro membership bundle that I've set up. So with the new digital products pricing plan, it's really easy to create subscriptions and I've added all my courses and workshops to this bundle. So now when someone logs into their account, they instantly get access to all of these different workshops and courses. And the best part is when I add a new one, they'll automatically get access to it. But if my courses and workshops are being sold on Squarespace and my private community is on Circle, how do we get members who purchase on Squarespace into our Circle community? And the answer is through an email provider by sending a welcome email. So I use ConvertKit and I have ConvertKit integrated with Squarespace. So when someone purchases the pro membership subscription, it's gonna tag them as a pro member and then immediately send them into this welcome sequence. And in the welcome sequence, it's just one email that goes out immediately, but it welcomes them to the pro membership and it includes a link to sign up to the community. And the way that you can set up invitation links in Circle is by clicking on the community name and then going to members and then invitation links and you can create a new invitation link and then copy that and paste it into your welcome email. So now when someone purchases the subscription on Squarespace, they immediately get access to all my courses and workshops. ConvertKit then sees that a purchase was made sends them the welcome email with invite link, and now people can sign up to create their Circle community account. To further integrate the community into my site, I'll show you how you can embed your Circle community 
onto your Squarespace website. So what I've done is I've created a member site for the pro support group. And if I click into this member site, you can see that I now have a blank page here in this member area. And I've attached it to my pro membership pricing plan. So remember that is the bundle where it's the annual subscription that contains all of my courses and workshops. And so I'm going to be adding the pro support group, which I've already done to this bundle. So now when someone purchases this bundle, they're also getting access to this member area that we've just set up. So now I can click this page and click edit and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new block and we're gonna add a code block. Now I'm gonna stretch this all the way so it's the full width of the grid and then holding control, I'll stretch it so that it fills the full width of the screen. Now we also need this code block to fill the full height of this section. So I'm gonna edit the section and then toggle off fill screen and now you can see it can be like the full height of the section. So I've written some code here that allows us to embed it into our site. So here's some iframe code and all we have to do is replace the source with the link to your circle community. And what this code does is uh, I've changed the height of the iframe to be 100% height of the page minus the height of the header because I want my header to be visible on this page so people can easily navigate to other pages on my site if they want to. So copy this iframe code uh, it'll be available in the blog post linked in the description below this video and you'll just want to go ahead and paste that into the code block so that'll link up the circle community but we still need to make some adjustments so the other code that i have here is this is a script that calculates the height of the header because remember i'm making the height of the iframe 100 percent of the viewport height of the page minus the height of the header because it's visible. So that's what this code is going to do. And then this CSS that we're gonna paste in the page header code injection, it hides the announcement bar and the footer on this page because I don't want those visible. And then it makes the grid on this page only have one row. And this is important, I won't get into that now, but the CSS is important. So now that I have the iframe pasted into the page, what I'm gonna do is copy the script and the style tags here for the CSS and I'm going to paste that into the page header code injection. So I, I'll click these three dots here and go to page settings and go to advanced and then I can paste this into the page header code injection and hit save. And now we'll see that my embed here is the full height of the page. So this is so cool like it's totally integrated into the site. We can access this as part of this member area. So because I've added this member area to the bundle, if someone goes to their account and clicks on the pro support group member area, it'll take them right to that page where the community is already embedded into the site. So this just further integrates my circle community as part of my website and people can still access other content on the website if they want to, but rather than having to go somewhere else for my community, it really feels like it is truly part of my site because it is. So again, the code that I've written to make this possible will be linked in the description below this video as part of a blog post. So you'll be able to copy and paste it into your site. So now I can automatically invite members to my community. They can log in on my site and access the community. How do I remove them when they cancel their subscription? Because the subscription is managed through Squarespace, if they were to cancel their subscription, Circle doesn't know that that member needs to be removed from the Circle community. And I've just decided to handle this manually. So when a subscription is canceled in Squarespace, I get an email that has the name and the email address of the person that canceled the subscription. And so what I'm gonna do is just log into Circle and remove that member from the community. But I could definitely see automating this in the future using Zapier but there's no sense in over-engineering a solution right in the beginning. It would require me moving from the basic plan to the pro plan, which would be more expensive and might be unnecessary if I find it's just perfectly easy to remove people occasionally when they unsubscribe in Squarespace. So that brings us to pricing. Now I mentioned how I don't have access to Zapier because I'm on the basic plan, so I'm paying $39 a month for my plan. Now, if you go to the pricing page, you'll see that the basic plan is listed at $49 a month, 
but after my 14 day free trial, it offered me annual pricing of $39 a month. And so that's how I arrived at that price. Now the next highest plan is $89 a month if you pay annually. And with that one, you get access to courses and live streams and Zapier integration. So I definitely think that there's a possibility that I will be upgrading in the future if I want to automate more things with Zapier. And also if I want to you know, do native live streams, which seems really cool inside of the community. So there's certainly a possibility that I will be upgrading, but I wanna start as lean as possible because I have no idea how many people are gonna be signing up for the group. And again, there's no point in over-engineering solutions in the very beginning. So finally, before I sign off, I do wanna thank Circle for sponsoring this video. I did a lot of research and platforms that I wanted to host my online community on. And when I decided on Circle, I took a chance and I reached out to them asking if they would be interested in sponsoring a video. And they said yes to my delight. So I wanna make it very clear that I am a paying customer of Circle. I am the one that reached out to them and I would never promote something that I'm not using or stoked about myself. If you're considering starting with Circle, definitely check out my full setup tutorial on my channel. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.